start opening statement from Coach? Well, another great opportunity to come out in front of our fans here in a packed Mizzou arena uh, to go out and give our very best at, at winning a ball game. Uh, Florida is a tough opponent. Um, Todd Golden's done a great job. Last year, they were an injury away. Colin Castleton uh, injury cost them an NCAA tournament. They were playing great basketball. And they've just had great consistency this year, uh, but also some depth and some uh, unbelievable opportunities from their players as it relates to the category of rebounding. Uh, they have some unique stats from three guys, Tyrese Samuel, uh, his rebounding percentage per minute. Uh, you look at Micah, uh, rebounding per minute, but also Alex Condon uh, rebounding per minute. Those guys do a great job of, of getting extra possessions. Questions? Coach, you know, when you, when you look at last game, kind of what stands out to you uh, that you want to improve on for this next game? Uh, I think, you know, it, it starts in practice. Our guys have done a great job leading into our last uh, game at Alabama. Uh, and they've done a great job this week leading into this opportunity uh, this weekend. So I think that's that's number one. When you look into their eyes, number two, to make sure that their spirit is still at the at the competitive level, their connectivity with each other is at that level that it's always been. Uh, those are the things that you look to make sure is there, but also look to improve on because in those moments, um, we're able to to get one bounce going our way. We have to remain in a positive uh, and and opportunity wise. We got to be able to make those plays defensively and offensively. So just making sure we're leaving no possession uh, out there and making sure we're dotting our eyes, crossing our T's, and execution. You know, you mentioned it after last game. You know, no pointing fingers and stuff like that with this team. What have you liked about the connectivity of this team? You know, going through the ups and downs. Well, I love I love the way uh, that our guys compete against each other. I think that's ultimately the most important thing. Um, you know, some some of the results aren't where we want them to be. Of course, of course that that's the case. But our guys are are still out there fighting every possession. They're doing a great job in the scouting reports. They're doing a great job in other areas of their lives. And and it's it's just the connectivity that stands out the most the affirmation that they're giving each other, the positivity that you hear, uh, those things are, are not just words, they're actual, actual behaviors. Uh, our guys are doing a great job of, of preparing. Uh, now we just want to see the results in the game. Coach, when you look back at the Alabama game, what were some of your takeaways that maybe you saw on film rather than in person? Well, I think uh, you, you think of the game uh, from the sense in, in different quads, right? So the first 30 minutes, we're right there. In fact, the first 20 minutes, we're right there. We're probably six free throws away from going in halftime with a lead, right? Uh, which I thought we should have been on the line. There's no doubt about it. There are several instances where we should have been on that line, but we didn't, and, th and that's okay. Look at the second half, we still fight through that adversity. We're able to draw some fouls, get to the free throw line. We're able to cut that lead, but we wasn't able to take it. And when you're playing on the road, you got to be able to um, put teams in a disadvantage, making them play from behind sometimes, and we didn't do a job of that. Uh, you look at, I would say, the shooting percentage in that last five minutes, eight minutes of the game, they made some tough shots, some shots that wasn't even uh, near the three-point line. And ultimately, we did a great job on their, their all-conference player in Sears, did a great job. But the other job, when it comes down to the other wings who stepped up and made tough shots, you just wish that ball would have bounced a little bit to the left or to the right or touched even the rim, mm -hmm. and it didn't do either. And at the end of the day, we have to continue to fight for those possessions, um, be confident in it, but also execute on the other end. Coach, there was a moment at halftime, um, you kind of pulled Tamar to the side and said some things to him. Can you kind of explain what the context of that moment was? Yeah, the context uh, of me and Tamar's conversation is allowing his actions to play um, versus words, not being pulled in because we did see the chippiness take place in the first half, but staying as focused as he could be. And I was giving him more affirmation 
of a great job versus a ridicule. It wasn't anything from a negative standpoint, and he understood everything. The other part of that is the referee was coming to talk to my player, and I wanted to talk to my player first. And if you watch the big picture of it, I stopped the referee from talking to my guy, and I wanted to be the voice to my guy. You know, throughout the season, I feel like we've grown so accustomed to see Sean East, you know, leading the team in points, getting double digit scoring. What is he doing for this team, even when maybe, you know, last points, last game, six points in that game? What is he doing for this team, maybe, when he's not scoring? Well, Sean East was a little bit under the weather last game, and for him to get to uh, the point that he get, did to go out there and compete, we're proud of him. He did not want to miss a game. He did. He gave his very best. He gave his very best out there with whatever energy he had. Uh, but he does other things for us, especially in practice. He is a glue for us. He is the one that communicates the most. We just have to see majority of that communication take place in games as well, uh, which is where I think his biggest growth has been in terms of leading uh, in games. As 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 do Noah, as do uh, Nick Honor. We all have to take a step up, include myself, in leading us through through this moment, through this time. Is Sean East, is he feeling better heading into this game? Sean has not missed a rep in practice. He hadn't missed a rep in a game. He's totally fine. Um, looking at Alabama, or Florida, I mean, you talked about how good they are on the boards. What are some things that y'all can do uh, to kind of limit some of their ch second chance opportunities? Well, I think, you know, ultimately we got to play some good defense. Um, that's the most important part. Uh, we have to be able to get into a position where we're not in a scramble. We play solid, keep guys in front of us. That is very important in any game uh, that we don't get in a lot of rotations. The other part of it is we have to be able uh, to put ourselves in a situation where, you know, we're getting to that free throw line. When you get to the free throw line, you're playing against a set defense. Just think about that. Even when we score, teams take the ball out. The defense may not be as set as it could be on a dead ball. So we got to make sure dead ball, jump balls, that we, we're able to uh, capitalize in those situations. We, 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 got, we can't turn the ball over. We got to be in a positive assist to turnover ratio. Uh, we have to be there to contest shots because they're a good three-point shooting team. The other part of it is they have a high level of assist per, per basket, right? They do a great job of assisting baskets uh, and moving the ball. So we have to stay compact. We got to be able to uh, compete at the best of our ability. But that just takes communication. Uh, they're going to make tough shots. We just got to be there and make them a little bit tougher. All right, anything else for Coach? All right, thanks, Coach. MIZ.